Hola amigos, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma and if you haven't been here before, I'm a UK based writer of contemporary romance novels and the occasional children's picture book. So my plan for a few of the months this year is to take each of the social media channels which I use and to kind of take a look at my accounts, overhaul them a little bit and learn some tips and tricks which I can hopefully pass on to you guys. Last month in February, I covered Twitter, which was definitely a steep learning curve. Um, I still don't really like Twitter, to be honest, but I definitely learned an awful lot and I now know how to use it more effectively and how to actually follow the people that I like properly to actually be able to see what they are tweeting. There was a lot of good stuff that came out of that challenge. If you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, I will make sure that I put a link to that playlist down in the description below. So new month, March. This month I'm going to be covering Facebook for authors. I have used Facebook for absolutely donkey's years now. It must be, let me think, my youngest is 13 and I definitely had it before he was born. Um, so probably about 15 years now I've been on Facebook uh, with like a personal account which actually has got a lot more worky as time has gone on but that's cool. I'm now friends with so many cool author people and I love that. Then when I published my first book, which is actually 10 years ago this year, which I really must do something to celebrate that actually, um, I set up an author profile. Um, so that seemed like a great idea, but then this is where things get a bit tricky. I also set up a page as an author as well. So I have an Emma Bennett kind of person profile and then I have the Emma Bennett page as well. So a lot of what I want to look into this month is whether I actually need both of those things for Emma Bennett or whether I'd be better off just focusing on the page. Obviously there's only so many hours in the day and there's only so much time I want to spend on Facebook and I definitely feel that I'm not utilising it for work properly. So I'm thinking that if I simplified things and if I just used the page, which is basically what I focus my attention on now anyway, it might be a better idea. And it's probably a little bit frustrating for people because I really don't check the Emma Bennett profile as often as I should. I sometimes forget it's there. So I'm not really interacting with people very well on it. And sometimes people will send me a message and I won't see it for a week or so. So that's kind of frustrating for people. And I do apologize when that happens and when I finally see it. So what I thought I would do is um, show you kind of what my profile's like and things, how many people I've got like following me, friends with me, etc. And yeah, have a think about what I can do to improve my Facebook experience and to get it working for me really well. If there's anything that you would particularly like me to cover in my videos this month, please let me know in the comments below and I will see what I can do. I won't be doing as many um, videos as I did for the Twitter challenge last month just because I feel that Facebook is easier to navigate than Twitter and so I don't think that there's that much that I'll be able to pass on compared to Twitter but what I will do is I will produce a PDF at the end of the month that has kind of any tips and tricks that I have learned that I want you guys to be able to use as well. And then there will be kind of a link to be able to go and download that for free if you would like to. So let's take a look at my Facebook now so that you can see what it's looking like at the beginning of the month. Okay, so here we are. This is my Emma Bennett writer page on here. Um, this is kind of what I see with like the professional tools and things. So I've got my cover photo here. I quite like this. It does show off lots of my book covers, which is great, but I actually have a lot more now. Um, and obviously like the books at the end of 
the photo aren't mine. So I think I can probably do a new updated photo, which would look really nice there. That would be quite easy to do. There's me. Um, that's fine. That's me on a train. But yeah, that photo is fine. So I've got um, 2000 likes and 2000 followers. Um, I'm sure that we can see the actual like proper numbers because that's just like rounded up or whatever, isn't it there? And um, the intro is romance author with Joffy Books, YouTuber. I don't know, maybe I can do a little more with that. And then it says down here that it's an author page. Um, it gives my email address and then there's Linktree, which has got all of my links added. I haven't like added any more details or hobbies or anything like that. Um, I've got a pinned post. I'm not sure if this is actually the best thing to have pinned though, but I thought it was quite useful. Um, so to ensure you don't miss any updates, don't forget to click on the following button near the top of the page and change the settings to see first. Um, because often if you're following somebody's page, you won't get shown everything by Facebook. They'll just kind of pick and choose. So if you did like want to follow me and see all my stuff, then that's like a good thing to do. Um, and then you've got like all the stuff that I share down here. Got my photos, which are looking quite nice. So that's cool. So if we have a look at the professional dashboard, I'm wondering um, if we can see, here we go, right. So, oh, I've got exactly 2000 followers. That's pretty cool. We've got the post reach. Um, so that's like how many people see my post, post engagement. So presumably that's for like the new, that's for the month, um, I'm guessing. And then new page likes, and you can kind of see um, the recent posts, like what their reach is and engagement and things like that. Um, apparently I've got a comment to respond to, you know, when I first set up this page, it was nowhere near as complicated as this, to be honest, there's so much that you can look into, which I'll admit that I don't particularly, but maybe I should a little bit more. I don't know. That's quite interesting. Look, you can see kind of the audience, the, the age and the gender. So I'm not really surprised that women are a much bigger percentage of my audience than men because obviously romance has more female readers um oh quite a few from australia there that's kind of cool isn't it okay all right so if we go back to the overview there we go so yeah that's all looking like pretty good i'm fairly happy with that so here is my emma bennett profile page um, the first thing that I'm noticing is that I can definitely do better with the cover photo because it's not the right size to be a cover photo. It's cutting off the top and bottom there of the book cover. So I can probably get in touch with my publishers. They have been really, really great about providing me with um, things like that. So I will see what I can do there. My picture is fine. It's an old picture, but I quite like it. My husband took that picture and it was my official author picture for quite a while. Now, the biggest difference that we can see, though, is that I have 3.9 thousand friends. So that's almost twice the number of people connecting with me on this profile as compared to the page. So that's another reason why I might not want to get rid of this Facebook profile uh, for the intro romance writer mum of four chaser of speedy labradors I quite like that that's nice um, but I do need to update uh, where I'm working at um, and stuff like that um, oh look there's a little picture of Hector there when he was little when he was a little puppy sitting in a cardboard box so cute yeah um and as you can see, look, there are messages that I haven't read here. There are notifications that I haven't seen. So I feel I can definitely do better with this. I think what I will probably start with then is improving this and then seeing how much um, interaction I can get 
with people and engagement and things if I start using this profile properly and then maybe I can decide at the end of the month what I actually want to do with it. So my absolute favorite thing about Facebook and the thing that makes it stand out from other social media channels for me is the groups. There are just so many brilliant groups on there for writers, regardless of whether you're right at the beginning of your writing journey or you're an established author, and um, for every kind of genre, for author mums, for authors who are working, all kinds of brilliant things. And I will make sure that I include a list of what I think are some of the best ones in the PDF, which I am going to be producing. I have a group myself. It's called AuthorTubers Helping AuthorTubers. If you are um, an author with a YouTube channel and if you're not joined, do make sure that you pop over there. I will leave a link to it in the description below. It's a really lovely little community. Everybody is just so kind and so helpful. I ask all kinds of stupid things on there and everybody is always really, really lovely. So come and check us out. Okay, I better get going now. I have two very restless Labradors who are wanting me to take them out for a walk. But I do hope that you're enjoying this social media for authors series. Please make sure that you boop the like button if you haven't already and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me and I will catch you in the next one.